They shrug their shoulders and go, okay, it's time for him to get what he wants. The deal moves forward and we are one step closer to quota. What is up earners? This is Matt from On Target Earnings. Welcome back. Today we are discussing the number one mistake that is holding you back from making more sales. Let's get into it. The biggest mistake that I see routinely from salespeople is that they simply do not use an upfront or social contract when starting each and every single interaction with a customer. So what am I even talking about? What is an upfront contract? What is a social contract? An upfront contract or a social contract is simply what your goal is for the call. Pause. Let's pause for a second. Do you even know what goal you have heading into a sales call? Maybe I should retitle this video, two mistakes that you should stop making right now to make more sales. Because in order to even have an upfront or social contract, you first need to know what your goal is for the call. It's super simple. So what I want you to do heading into any sales engagement is just ask yourself one simple question. What do I want from the outcome of this call? Are you doing a product demonstration? What's next in your sales process that you wanna to do to move the deal forward? Ask yourself that question. Are you in the middle of a legal review with a potential customer? What is the logical next step to get the deal one step closer to close after we do legal review? All right, you got it? Cool. Next step, crazy simple, will change your life in sales. Heading into any call, you obviously know what it is that your prospect wants out of the call. If it's a demonstration, they want a demonstration. If it's a commercial presentation, obviously they wanna get their head around price. So all I need you to do when you start the call off, simply acknowledge why you believe that they're here. So we're gathered here obviously for a demonstration because you wanna see if our product or service can meet your needs. I am curious though, anything else you were hoping to get out of today's phone call? Listen earners, I want you to ask that question only once. Why are you asking this question only one time? Because when you say anything else, they're gonna fill in that space. Maybe they also want a reference. Maybe they wanna see your certifications or credentialing. Whatever it is, heading into the call, you don't know what dynamic thing they're gonna ask for, so only ask this question one time. Now, of course, you went into this with a great idea of what they want, and now you've also asked anything else. You have points one and two that you know that they are after. So all you have to do is simply thank them. Uh, I will make sure to hit on both of those today. Cool, now they feel heard, now they're excited, they feel like this is all about them. And this is the big moment where you step in and start making way more sales and getting way more of what you want. You say, okay, well now that we're very clear on what you would like from today's call, the only thing that I'll ask from my side is, is that if you agree today after seeing the demonstration that our product or service can meet some of the needs that you have and you feel good and comfortable with the credentialing that I talked about, go ahead and open up calendars for our next call and move towards our proof of concept, on-site meeting, project scoping, whatever it is your goal is, to make sure that we can continue to move this along and find out whether or not we're gonna be a good fit for your business. Big money moment. Does that sound fair? It is so key that you ask if that sounds fair. When we say, does that sound fair? And they say yes, we have now formally made an agreement. Here's the second to last step. Once they agree, say, Great, I'm glad we're in agreement. Let's get into it. Now what do you do? Just go do your demo or your presentation or whatever it is and make sure you're checking in with them constantly to make sure that they still feel like you or your product or service is still a good conceptual fit for what they're trying to do. Then of course, it's important for you to actually dive into that anything else thing that they said. So in this case, it was security, credentialing or whatever it may be. Make sure you hit on that. Again, ask them, does this meet your needs? Cool earners, we have now earned the right to get way more of what we want. Now, is this going to make your sale happen like this? No. As we talk about in this channel all the time, there's absolutely nothing that can do that. But what this will do is it'll move you one step closer to your end goal, which is the sale. The final step is at the end of the call, we hearken back to our original agreement and go get way more of whatever it is that we want. It does seem like the product or service that we are offering is a good fit for the business. And it seems like you feel pretty good about the credentialing. Harkening back to our original agreement, let's go ahead and open up calendars and think through who should be on our next call for our proof of concept, our blueprint meeting, our scope scoping call, our formal estimate, so we can make really good use of everyone's time when we connect next. Earners, that is it, it is that simple. To recap, head into every single call knowing exactly what it is your goal is. If you don't think through what your goal is for that unique situation, you're gonna fail. Go into the call knowing what it is their logical goal is, confirm that, ask them what else they would like, make sure that they understand that they've just engaged in an agreement with you, give them what they want, you eat last. As long as you always give, 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 
give them what they want in the call. At the end, you are well within your rights just as a human to human interaction to ask for what you want. Except I don't want you to ask for it. I just want you to say, well, since we agreed and I did boom and boom, let's go ahead now and give me what I want. Here's a little personal anecdote about why I'm so passionate about making sure that you use an upfront or a social contract. I was once working for a technology company where our goal after a demo was to get to a particular next call of a certain nature. This was a big way that they measured us on top of our ability to actually bring in business. My closest peers were somewhere in the 18 to 22% range of going from a demonstration to successfully booking that second call because it was a big ask of the prospect to do what we asked them to do. I was right around where everyone else was and I didn't like that because I wanted to be a top earner. I decided to be incredibly intentional about what my goals are for the second call with my prospect. That way they got to evaluate the entire call through the lens of whether or not they wanted to give me what they knew all along I was hoping to get out of the conversation. They also got to feel special and they got to feel like they're in control because I eat last, they eat first. Now, when I ask for what I want at the very end, there's no big surprise. They've been thinking to themselves the entire time, do I wanna give this person what he told me he's looking for? Well, because most people are inherently decent, when I hearken back to that original agreement and I make it explicitly clear that they got exactly what they want, they shrug their shoulders and go, okay, Okay, time for him to get what he wants. The deal moves forward and we are one step closer to quota. This had transformative impacts on my ability to make sales because sales is not about Hail Mary passes. Sales is about little itsy bitsy first downs here and there on our way to closing the deal inevitably. That's it earners. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and tell your sales colleagues. And as is always the case, we don't want your subscriptions and we don't want your likes. Well, I'll take that back. We totally want your likes and we totally want your subscriptions. That said, here at On Target Earnings, we are trying to actually get some data on whether or not we are helping people because sales is super hard. So as is always the drill, I only want you to go ahead and give our videos a like. If you took something away from the call, we're actually able to apply it to a real deal and that deal moved in a positive direction as a result. And of course, that almighty subscribe button, only when you feel like some of the advice from this channel helped you actually get a deal across the line. If you're a sales manager and you're checking this video out or you're an aspiring revenue leader, make sure to go check out our Patreon channel, On Target Earnings, where we have earners who are asking their employers if they can expense a subscription to our platform. And over there, we're unpacking each and every single one of these lessons. And as always, earners, don't forget, tough times in sales don't last, tough salespeople do. Good luck out there today.